code is basically what you tell a computer to make it do something. So it's a common language between people and the computer. Knowing how to code gives you magical powers to make your devices do what you want them to do. Code is extremely intimidating to a lot of people, and I think it has to do with this issue of us not knowing what it is or where it is or what it looks like. Regardless of what industry you're in, if you know how to bend the computer to your will, it's useful for all sorts of different things. Code is a word to describe the instructions we give a machine to execute a program. When we first developed general purpose machines, we programmed them using soldering irons and wires and switches. Eventually, we got to the point where we were programming them using symbols, ones and zeros, to indicate on and off for electrical impulses. These first languages were called machine languages because it was very hard to program in the ones and zeros that make up a machine language. We came up with assembly languages, which through one way or the other are designed to make it easier for humans to write programs. There are classic languages like C and C++ and Java, and these days Python and Ruby are very popular languages. It is important for people to understand what it is that coders do. As we go about our day, think about how many devices you use. A coder is telling you what you can and cannot do on that device. As a simple user of technology, you're living in her world. This notion of learning about code and learning to code hasn't really permeated throughout society yet. These days, I think it is important to at least have a basic understanding with the technology that you come in contact with every day. If you believe that information is power, then those people who understand code are always going to be an advantage. The way in which we interact with all the things around us are shaped by the people who can create the conduits through which we go about our daily lives. For those people who touch the results of code, but they don't actually build the things with code, their perspectives won't be included in the result. The problem is there's just a general lack of diversity in the technology field. You have a situation right now where you have a workforce that is overwhelmingly masculine, overwhelmingly white, overwhelmingly young, creating solutions for everybody. The problem with having such an undiverse workforce is that you're going to end up with certain blind spots. I'm not trying to argue that men can't solve problems for women or women can't solve problems for men or anything like that, but I think one of the challenges that's happening in tech is that you have all this software being built that doesn't really understand the end user experience, like who's going to use it, what are they going to do with it, how are they going to live with it. I think we all have these experiences of opening up a website or a web app and kind of being like, I'm trying to accomplish like the one thing this web app is supposed to do and I can't do it because it's built wrong. It's hard to say like what problems would be solved with a more diverse workforce, but I would just say there's a lot of efforts and a lot of talent and creativity that is going into solving problems that nobody has. And I think that is like one of the things that we're really going to see change as the industry develops and really becomes something that everyone's participating in. I think we're at this interesting transition in computer science. One, I think coding is fun and delightful, and if everybody did it, that'd be great because it's really satisfying. But inevitably, we're not going to have everybody with those skills. People have different interests, different abilities. On the other hand, I think programming is so darn literal. You work with a person, you say, can you go to the coffee shop and get me a latte? But to a computer now, you'd say, okay, go out the door, turn left, move 10 paces, go into the store, ask for this, get money, you know, and it doesn't need to be. It's putting too much on us. It's generating more work for us at the same time as it's allegedly solving it. Computers should be able to do a lot more programming themselves. When you program, you generate a model in your head and then you tell the computer and if you match the computer, then the program works. But how dumb? Why do you need to have the computer in your head and have the computer? So in my world, not everybody needs how to code. Computers actually become a lot better at serving humans. And we kind of have this turnaround right now. We're kind of serving them and doing things their way. It'd be much better when they do things our way.
it's not necessary that everybody becomes a computer programmer. But I think as we look towards the future, it is in everyone's best interest to know what code is and the general concepts behind writing code. Programming as we know it now, I think, is very exciting, but it's not forever. The range of creativity is only going to get larger. Like it or not, code is a new and very dominant form of human communication, and the more that you're able to empower yourself with those communication skills, the better you're going to do. I think that we should look at code and being able to code as just as useful to us as being able to read and write. That's really how we should think about coding.